Now, though, to that really concerning sight in the air, a sole flight attendant on a plane going from Chicago to South Bend, Indiana, apparently intoxicated. ABC's David Curley has the story. Good morning, David. Good morning, Cecilia. That flight attendant out of a job this morning, facing charges as well as passengers tell us they were worried about their safety. Concerned passengers this morning telling us they were frightened for their safety after spotting this flight attendant apparently intoxicated. What I saw on the flight that day was um, a, a very concerning and confusing scene. She was stumbling and kind of staggering back and forth, bumping into passengers. On the short United Express flight from Chicago, passengers say that sole flight attendant appeared impaired even before takeoff. It was clear that she was inebriated in some capacity. She had no coordination, no balance, was incomprehensible over the microphone. And once in the air, it appeared to passengers that Julianne March passed out. The passengers even fastening her seatbelt for her. One of the other passengers did get up at a certain point and help her sit down in her jump seat and actually buckle her in as if she was like a helpless child. The fact that we didn't have an operational flight attendant on the flight meant that all of our safety and security was compromised. Charging documents say the 49-year-old Wisconsin woman, upon landing in South Bend with officers boarding, needed to steady herself with the airplane seats when she stood. Officers noticing bloodshot eyes, slurred speech, and an odor of alcohol. When she finally took a breathalyzer test, her level was 0.2 five times over the legal limit for flight attendants. It's unacceptable for anyone to have a distraction when they're performing safety sensitive work or to be impaired in performing that safety sensitive work. It was just last week that a Delta pilot was taken off a plane and arrested, suspected of being intoxicated. And over the weekend, a similar situation with the captain of a United flight arrested in Scotland. Now, there is a program that both the flight attendants and the pilots use to self-report. The Flight Attendants Union tells us this is a rare occurrence, and that program helps about 150 flight attendants every year with questions or if they have a problem. Cecilia? Wow, really frightening video there, though. Okay, David, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.